Bonafide Hustler here, and I am stronger than yesterday. It's good to see you guys. Guess what? Today, there are three neighborhood-wide garage sales. Holy sh**. All right, what's up guys? Good to see you. Welcome to my ride along. And my lens is probably getting foggy, so it's a nice morning. We got the little airborne furry creatures chirping, chirping. And we're waiting here for E-Money. Come on, E-Money, get the hell out of here. Let's go, dude. Come on, man. Where's E-Money? Come on, E-Money, come on, man. We just go make some cheddar. I should leave his ass, huh? So you guys want to see something cool that I'm going to drop off in my booth while we wait for dumbass e money um, We have a Hartman, pretty nice uh, mustard tweed. I believe it's called mustard tweed or, yeah, something like that. I don't know if it's tweed or, it's not painted canvas. It might still be classified as tweed. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, a mustard colored Hartman luggage that I found for $5 at a church garage sale. And um, yeah, that's gonna be cross-listed. So there it is right there, pretty nice. Going to the booth today as well, pretty sweet. Oh, there he is. I see him, I see him. Let's go, you ding-dong. Did you almost fall? No, Liar. I didn't want my glasses to fly off. I got my school supplies. School supplies, this is how we uh, keep our receipts intact so uh, when we need to go to garage sales. Is this your brand new one? Yeah. All right, cool. I so, actually got it with, with this thing now, instead of like having to fold it every single time. So basically what we do is we put the garage sale right here, we put the date, we put the what we paid for everything, and then we itemize it like right there. So, so that so helps a lot. Ba basically what you do is keep track of your stuff. Chris, Why do you always look up here? Everybody already knows that, because I'm There's talking to you. There's a lens right here. I'm talking to you. But I'm talking to you too, through the yeah. camera. Everybody in YouTube land already knows how to do this, so I'm being respectful. But to you, you're like super like non-coherent. Like, non-coherent? Like, I just well, explained exactly how to do it. I'm pretty coherent. Knows. I was like, the one who told you to get like, this thing. Hey, t hey YouTubers, like, don't 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 forget to breathe or don't forget to eat. I shouldn't do that. That's like implied. Exactly. So, but this isn't implied. This is a money and rent receipt book. This is not implied at all. I have to explain that out. It makes no sense. All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna have to kick your ass. Ooh, his trunk is open. Our neighbor's trunk is open. Ha ha, it's gonna be a dead car in the morning. Wait a minute, it is morning. It's gonna rain at noon. No, it's not. At noon. Hey, how, uh, how many garage sales do we have today? How many neighborhoods? Three, right? Four? Four? I thought it was four. Dude, I so lied to you guys. Okay, so we have four neighborhood wide garage sales. But we're only gonna go to three. So we're going to three. So I didn't lie to you guys. It'll be That's about good. 60 garage sales, 60 to 80. Yeah. This first play neighborhood that we're going to um, has a pretty good amount. So this neighborhood um, has a ton. Like it's not even a little bit. Like this is a very big hood, right? Yeah, it's it, gigantic. It's gigantic. So, and it has a lot of just, Crisscrossing streets, some dead ends, um, not so much traffic. Couple, the first part of the neighborhood that I think we're, we're going to be going to has very narrow streets, so it should be interesting. Um, I've done very well at this neighborhood, you know, in the past, and it's just one of those things. It's cyclical. It's just well, I did good there last year. Did you go last year? Yeah. Last year I went there. It was on a video where I actually went to a garage sale. I went to a garage sale in that neighborhood that I had bought a boat from, a radio controlled boat, like the day before, off of Offer Up. Where? Yeah, the lady was there. Like, I went to her house. I was like, she's like, don't I know you? I was like, you don't know me. E Money, is this even cheddar weather at all? Yes. 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 Okay, it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's cheddar weather. Yeah. You just have to have the eye. Yeah, the eye. Eye. What about the nose? Yes. 
It ain't raining men, but it's raining cheddar, that's for sure. Is it raining cheddar today, or raining men? Raining cheddar. Between men or cheddar, which one do you want it to rain? Cheddar. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I would, I don't know how to resell, I don't know how to resell on eBay dudes, you know? I think I'd be mailing in dudes to FBA, so. Can you imagine my antique was just full of dudes? <laughs> just standing around oh like, oh, buy me. It's raining men! Yo. Okay, so neighborhood wide garage sales, and uh, there's our big ass sign behind that whole thing over there. We are in Avery Ranch. I don't think it's gonna be that good, right? What do you think? I do. I just don't think it's gonna be that good. It's 7 a.m., and I just don't think we're gonna find many, but we might. Um, this other neighborhood we want to go to exactly at 8 or before 8 is gonna be probably really, really good. All right, this yeah. might be our first one of the morning. We found one finally. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so I left with this probably semi-vintage, I don't know, maybe something like that. Um, director's cut thing, I have no idea what this thing is called. E-Money would try to get a camera, but the dude turned him down. Not a huge deal. You know, for our first garage sale, this is pretty cool find. Don't know if I'm gonna put it in the booth or if I'm gonna keep it, don't know yet. What do you call this thing? Director's board, director's uh, cut board, who knows? I don't know. All right, the cheddar sequences, take one. Deal right over there in that garage sale. Picked up this window right here for five bucks. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I like it. I didn't even want to talk to dad. It was just like too good of a deal. So nice and heavy. That's what I'm all about. I bet you can get like 40 or 50 bucks for this in my booth. Easily. Ah, I'm gonna go down this street. I saw a bike. Ooh, there's another bike right there. That one sucks though. Oh man, these garage sales are looking interesting. Oh, there's not two bikes here. Holy crap, three. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Oh, hustler. <laughs> Dude, how you doing? You doing all right this morning? I just pretty much got started. I uh, got three items in here, a couple of tennis rackets for a dollar each. Uh, it'll be north of 50. Cool. Introduce yourself real quick. Hey, guys. I'm Joel Dodson, Green Room member. And uh, it didn't take long to find Bonafide Hustler in a community garage sale in Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I figured out my tire has a... Whoop, my tire has a uh, lower low pressure indicator thing. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So we gotta remedy this issue and then I'll call you. But anyway, so uh, you're gonna just zoom around? There's That's a right, I'll good, leave you a few items. Dude, there's a good amount of 7 a.m. garage sales, aren't there? Uh, so far, so good. Yeah, it's good to see you, dude, holy crap. I haven't seen you since July, right, last year? Yeah, buddy. All right, so that was Joel Dodson from the green room. I saw him on the July meetup. He's super awesome. Anyway, what's up to Joel? Change of plans today. I got a low tire pressure indicator thing on my car right while I was going through those garage sales. So we gotta switch trucks and I'll worry about my stuff later because we gotta make some cheddar money here. So let's get this all done, E-Money. This is your, uh, okay. This is your little protection thing. All right. I don't understand what is going on. It like a weird way, there. What do you mean? You flipped it. Just put your thing on, stupid. Come on. He protects the plastic in his truck. I don't get it. Anyway, put our little bins in here. We have to erect the bin, Emerson. Do you want to erect yours? Erect your bin, bro. All right, let's go. I guess we're we don't want the whole day to be you know, like really screwed with a tiny little thing in the tire. I don't know what's in my tire in that other truck, but you know, it's just not worth chancing the money for it. So we're gonna go through the whole day and everything, tacos and dopios and all that and making money. And we're gonna do it with this truck. And then I'll worry about my problems when I get home. Hey, what's up? Uh, you're like a math problem, bro. I'm analytical. Why? No. Because you're full of problems. <laughs> you can't be a math problem and be full of problems. You're like a math book. No, you're like a math book. That's full of problems. Because you're full of problems. Oh my gosh. Like, Man, that joke is not good. You're not good. Hey, someone call the police, you know why? Because your joke sucks. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, guess what? Somebody call the fire department. Because I'm on fire. Yeah, right. You ready? What? Uh, 
you better call the referee because you just got beat. Oh! <laughs> Someone called the jackhammer operator. You know why? Because <laughs> you just got pounded. <laughs> no, no <way>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of the dumbest thing I could possibly think of. I think I reached it. I think I got it on that one. You better get the fire extinguisher because you just got burnt. Oh! <laughs> So stupid. Oh my god, I can't take it. There we go. One. So we are in neighborhood number two. We left neighborhood number one because we really like neighborhood number two better. So here we are. Let's check it out. Okay, There's a yeah, yeah, go check out that one real quick and then we'll check out that one up there. We are looking for particular kind of items if we don't really kind of get that sense that they're right there, right then and there, you know, whatever you want to say. Then we don't stop. We're not gonna just go you know, petering around all the boxes and all that. Oh, that's a nice truck. I like that truck. No. That looks like a really good garage. Uh, I don't know about really good. Let's see. Hold on. This looks highly organized. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Here, park here. Let's go. Got a bona fide hunter here. What's up, man? I got eyes like a cheddar hawk. Anyways, 15 bucks for these things. I think I could probably get somewhere between 16 and 80 bucks for these in my booth. That's like the high end, so you know, I'd be happy with like 55 or so. But this is nice. Everyone that when I walked out of that garage sale, people were like, dang man, that's a pretty good score. So, hey, said it was a hat rack or a back scratcher, and I'm like, yeah. uh, no, this hey, is cheese. Look at me really quick What's without up? even looking at it. Yeah, how many points do you think that is? Oh, uh, don't look, don't look. 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man. More garage shows, let's go, let's go. Hey, by the way guys, take a second out of your day and just hit the like button right now. I know I ask at the very end of the video and some people don't even make it to the end of the video. So I'm gonna ask you right now, um, hit the like button. Always hit the like button when you come to my videos, always. You better, or I will do nothing. I will just keep doing garage shows and stuff and keep making ride-alongs. But please, uh, hmm, this way. Wait, that way. I guess I sail that way. There's, some, there's a sail that says sail this way and it goes right to a fence. Oh, here we go. We're supposed to like okay. hop the fence or something? Alright, we're looking, we're looking. There's another one right here. It's got a lot of old stuff. No, I don't want that kind of person that's going to mark it up. I can already tell. Printer? No. Uh, that's a huge printer. <laughs> My gosh, it's enormous. We have no way of like really taking it home or anything. Hear me. Yeah, we keep passing up a lot of sales. A lot of people out there are gonna be like, why do you do that? And it's just, this is just our style. Go this way, you already went down that way. This is our style. This is what keeps us profitable here in Austin, Texas is to really trust our intuition and hunches and everything. You gotta know your audience. Or yeah. not the audience, but like know, know your audience. Do we not put it on a show here? Um, go left. Probably yes, okay. There's one right there. Um, I would pass that. There's a lot of weird stuff. I don't like that. Uh, what do you think? No. I'd pass this one up Are too. You sure? Yeah, I'd pass that one up. No. no, nothing on that one either. So I'm looking already at the clothing rack of that sale. Like, this is what I'm decoding as I come up. I'm looking at the clothing rack immediately. I'm looking at the people that own the property. I'm looking at the property itself, and then I'm looking at all this. The remaining stuff on the table. No. Looking on the floor for Thanks. any good boots or anything. Don't see no. it. Let's go. All right, we're gonna stop at this one right here, and there's also one right here, which I think will be the better one right there. So we're gonna check that one out. All right, didn't buy anything at that one. I thought I'd see. I saw a. Uh, a bag that I wanted, but it just wasn't the greatest quality. So, anyways, electronics. Nope. Uh, some vintage skateboards on the ground back there. No. Oh. I see. We check it out. Yeah, that looks like a vintage skateboard of some sort. Hopped on this SCR2, which I will look up. But you see what it says, Emerson? Macintosh. It's that? like super tube awesome. This is like very retro vintage tube amplification type stuff. So oh, let me see that like Yeah, weird. Macintosh. Look at that. That'll focus. That is pretty interesting. So SCR2. I don't know what it's gonna be, and it's untested and everything, and we'll check that out here in a second, but uh I estimate that's gonna be something decent. I 
there's so much Macintosh stuff on here, but every every Macintosh thing that I'm seeing on here is like a lot of money, so I don't know what that thing's gonna be. There's another sale up here. So. I see a saddle, yeah. Oh, I see some bags and some interesting things. I would stop here. <laughs> Holy crap, this was a really good garage sale to stop at. Oh my God. So eMoney popped on a bike box for $3 full of bike parts, of which I will sell one of the forks that's in that box. Anyway, check out this $3 score that I got. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. This is a vintage Swiss military backpack, canvas style. Missing the drawstring, not a huge deal. Okay, I can install one of those, but this thing is so crazy. You guys ready to see the best part about it? Look at the back of these things. I already know this very well, this backpack, because I've sold, it, I've sold it a couple times before. Hard to find. Vintage Swiss military backpack right there. Look at that. This is the most right, kick-ass yeah. backpack ever, dude. Right, yeah, this is a vintage Swiss uh, backpack. It's so, nice. It's like super Indiana Jones-like. Like. It's really cool. So anyway, this is in my booth, the last one I, that I had something like this sold for 100 plus, yeah. So this is really nice. That's Look at awesome. that leather bottom. It's like World Traveler. I know. And then this box is incredible with money yeah. we spent. I call it a fork, though. Huh? I call it a fork. Okay, <laughs> I call it the three. Seat. You can have everything else, but like this, uh, this fork might be worth some pretty good money. This is an old school man to answer fork right there, right? $3 for the whole thing. And you might've got walked with a freaking Brooks saddle too, which is crazy. Look at that, a vintage Brooks saddle, which with wear and tear like this, this is probably like a 60 plus saddle right there, easily. That's nice. And there's a bunch of other randoms in here that he'll look, maybe if we're lucky, there's some cool Dura-A stuff, never know. There's some Dior XT stuff right here. If we're lucky, maybe there's yeah. some, there's some Dura Ace, you never know. There's some pedals. Look at the pedals real quick. Yeah. Check the pedals. Let's just check them out. Uh, there you go. This some, is worth money. Camp yeah, here's a campy seat post. Or a campy seat post right there. Holy crap. Yeah. This guy was meticulous. Anyway, right. that's oh, a good score. That box right there has a collective resale value of really about 200 plus right there. Okay, it looks like an incredible amount of deals maybe in, these, in one of these two garage sales. There's so much stuff here. All right, for as big as those garage sales were, nothing to be found. So now we are gonna go to uh, meet up with a member. I mean, pretty deceiving. One was a bunch of mid-century modern stuff and antique stuff and completely taxing up the wazoo. The other one, strangely enough, was like, someone's private label stuff that didn't work out and so they're trying to sell the goods at the garage sale uh so anyway you know can we go here no i said go down this way so anyways we're gonna go meet up with a green room member right now for about an hour so let's go check it out all right we're gonna do a very quick pit stop at the goodwill i'm gonna meet joel inside somewhere and then we will proceed along with a day all right so here we are in the goodwill and we're here with joel mr dodson himself there he is um, and we, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to snipe stuff in front of me? Gosh. Anyway, so we're about to go to another neighborhood wide garage sale right now. And uh, I don't know what Ema is doing, but he's going over there. I had a question to ask Joel. What's the hey, question for Joel? Uh, this is a determining factor. Metallica or Megadeth? I don't think what he likes his you? music. Metallica. You? All right, he's, he's pretty good. Although I did sell a Megadeth shirt last night. Okay. Do you ever listen to either? I've uh, not really listened much to Megadeth. Oh, no. okay. So, so what was it growing up then? Yeah, what'd you listen to growing up, man? Uh, Y'all yeah, would be very disappointed. Pet Shop Boys. I'm probably, more, I'm probably more of a uh, country uh, music oh, okay. listener. Brooks and Dunn. Uh, no. Garth Brooks. Probably George Strait. Yes, George Strait. Oh, dear. Oh, Hank oh. Williams Jr. is good. But anyway, uh, Joel, how long have you been in the room? Uh, it's about a year right now, actually. About a year. Just my just one year. All right. How do you like it? I really enjoy it. I've learned a lot. Uh, I've made a lot of money from the information that I've learned from it. There How are the go. people? Not very good. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually awesome. Uh, I've made a few good friendships. Uh, Daniel Ramsey, California. What's up, buddy? Uh, and uh, have you hustled with anyone in Houston? No, uh, I haven't. I, I've, I've ran into a couple of people. I, I run into Texas Gout's Treasures. Uh, she's out uh, stealing, good, stealing good items from <laughs> the garage sales that I like to attend. But uh, she, she's, she's about the only one I really see. And you did go to the meetup last year, right? Yes. Did you have fun? Absolutely. Yeah, meetup's good. So um, the meetup this year is gonna, we're trying to outdo the meetup last year. I don't, I'm getting kind of scared. Yeah. Cause it's kind of tough. 
Because last year's was really fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't forget um, to schedule some downtime for, for y'all. <laughs> I know. Like, that's the problem. So we never do that. <laughs> so anyway, we were, we're on our way to the next uh, neighborhood-wide garage sale. There's a taco joint here. We've had these tacos before, and they suck. Have we? Yes. Wow. Dang. Look how many people go to these crappy tacos. Some people, like, live by that one. Man, Taco Deli is the best taco on earth. On earth. Period. Joel, before you leave town, do not, you have to have a Taco Deli taco, dude. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just you saying, before, you know, after your little auction thing that you're going to do later, go to Taco Deli, dude. For Are you sure. in town just for the weekend? Uh, no, man, I, I'm heading back tonight. I've got my oh. kid uh, at the house right now, so. All right, we found a rummage seal. Gosh, man. We've been twirling around too much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Finally woke back up. Oh, let's get this sale done. The Red River Church Missions. Let's go check it out. You should have come out of this garage sale, man. So we're, we just came from that garage sale right there. They're looking like right at us. Um, there's a garage sale back there. There's an Elmo and a Shrek on a tea table. Um, but I did pop on three things for a dollar. Okay, so check this out. E-Money, what's the first thing? Uh, Rodeo Radio shirt. Active. Rodeo shirt. That's killer, man. Look at that. Woo! Not Pearl Snap. You might be thinking, hi. It's not pearl snap. He didn't make money. That is a good one. Little bona fide cheddar boy. Psych. Up. High noon. Pearl snap. Aztec. Western. Whatever you want to call it. That's sick. Oh, the stain. Yeah. Just kidding. Oh, you <laughs> jerk. Oh, dude. You, you jerk. <laughs> anyway, and then the last one I picked up was kind of interesting. A lot of, a lot of people wouldn't really think to pick this up, but it's an LL Bean. Um, almost like a wool. Yeah, almost like wool. really thick shirt. Not flannel, but super thick. So for, you know... A dollar for all three of these. This is a no-brainer. I'll probably ask in the booth for the rodeo. Uh, this one right here. I'm gonna ask about, I don't know, 15 in the booth for this one, the high noon. This is definitely going up for like closer to 30. And then the LL Bean probably 15. Oh man. Yeah. Chris. All right. So this is the time we get. You know, he had a very, very quick window to ride along with us just for a second. So I want you guys to hit the like button and say what is up to Joel D. Right there. Dodson. What's up? Joel Dodson right there from the green room and all your green room members. If you've never met him before, I got to meet him in July. Fantastic member. Check him out. And people in Houston, could you want to hustle with some of them? Sure. All uh, right. Uh, I don't really have a way to do that, but I'll <laughs> give my number. But uh, you can find me on Facebook, Joel Dodson. All right, Joel Dodson, Facebook, or you can hit me up and I will put you in contact with him. All right, man. So we're going to get a picture opportunity here, a picture up or something like that. Let's do it. So we're going to try to get in one more garage sale or two. Man, I keep thinking it's taco time, and it's not taco time just yet, but I, there are not many opportunities around here. I really thought today was going to be like super, super, super good, and I'm so happy I found that backpack and a couple other things, but I'd really like to make more money. It's just that the, the options are not really there right now. Um, so yeah, we're, we're keeping on looking around a little bit, and uh, maybe we'll get to one more. We're going to just check it out and see if we can make any money here. All right, so we didn't find anything. I got that garage sale. I am just... I'm uh, five hours of sleep. Man, it's just so bleak. I can't help but think like maybe we should have stayed at that first neighborhood wide garage sale. But then again, I don't know, you know? Um, I would say this one right here, this Crestview one right here, 10 o'clock. So, yeah, you know, sometimes you get your ups and downs. And while this is not a truly a down day, it's always a win when I get to, you know, see another member or even get out like it's just fun to get out and just because you never know but you always so think like man it would have been like what would the day have been if i had stayed at that other neighborhood and really like hammered down at it and then what if my car didn't have that stupid issue with the tire so you know things happen but just keep your head up try to get more sleep don't do five hours like bonafide hustler does um yeah get more sleep than that guys hey money where's this day taking us to a delicious lunch. Yep. So here we are at Taco Deli. Of course, we're here every Saturday. Crestview location. You gotta check it out. Today I'm doing these. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is what our tacos look like. Look at this. Oozing goodness. Oh my god. E money, is that good? Yeah, it's really good. Look at this. Oh man. Did you know Taco Cat and Cat is like the same thing yeah. backwards and forwards? I, see my I, I feel like a Taco Cat right now. Can't wait to eat it. Mm. Alright, I saved my lid from blowing away. Get our dopios right here. Yeah, is I it good? Switch this, then I'll switch. The camera's about to run out. Let's try it. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
It's one. Whoa! Look out! <laughs> that, was a, that was a scare too. <sighs> okay. Whoa, this guy looks like he just came out of a train. Okay. Pretty good. Alright. So that's pretty much our hustling day. We'll see you guys in the truck in one second. Oh,